We're on Menachot Perek Tet, Mishnah Chet, 8th Mishnah in the ninth chapter of Masechet Menachot. We're continuing to talk about Semicha, the leaning on the animal that we learned, that when a person brings a Korban, the last Mishnah said, pretty much everyone has to do Semicha. So then the question is, here we are. Uh, all Korban, all Korban Yachid require Semicha. So the question is, who does Semicha? Our Mishnah says, Hakol Somchim, which is really not true, because we're going to see in the, right here that not everybody does Semicha. Everyone does Semicha, except... Let's always say except. Chutzmi cheresh shoteh vekatan. Cheresh is a person who is mute. Shoteh is a person who is not of sound mind. Katan is a minor. So there's a classic here. Cheresh shoteh vekatan. Ein mehem dat. They're not considered to have halachic dat. You know, to have halachic knowledge. To be able to communicate. They don't understand what they're doing. Uh, Suma, a blind person. So the Bartanura says that the reason why a blind person doesn't do smicha is because we learned one of the, the public uh, korbanah where you do smicha was par he'elam darash al tzibur. Right, the par, the the ram, the, the 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 cow, the bull that's offered when the Sanhedrin forgets and issues a wrong and incorrect ruling. So it says, "V'samchu ziknei ha'ida." The elders of the community, meaning the members of the of the Sanhedrin, have to do smicha. With Sanhedrin, lo yabehem suma, and the Sanhedrin, you couldn't be blind and sit on the Sanhedrin. So therefore, we learn out, "Behu adin chol shas smichot she'en suma yachol isma." And then all from there, that and the suma cannot also do smicha. Okay. The Hanochri, non Jew, because it's for the Jewish people, the Ha'eved, Vashaliach, the slave, or Shalich is a representative. Because I learn out why? Because it says, Vesamach Yado, the person offering the Korban should leave his hand. Velo Yad Avdo, Velo Yad Shluko, nor should it be his slave, can't send somebody else to do it, nor his agent or his messenger. Okay, the Ha'isha, woman, says, B'nai Israel, not B'no Israel, women cannot also do Smicha. Okay, so how so it's everyone except for Chevashotavekatan, Suma blind person, Nachri, Evet, Nanju, slave, rep or an agent, Vaisha or a woman. Only as a adult male or Jews of sound mind. Usmicha Shiare mitzvah. Smicha is Shiare mitzvah. It's the remnant of the mitzvah. Meaning it is not essential to the mitzvah to, to do the korban. Iname akhevet kapara. It doesn't hold back kapara, but it is a mitzvah. Umiu ma'ale alava katuv ki ilu lo kiper. The Torah treats it as if you did not uh, have an atonement. Okay, it says It should be accepted to make an atonement. Meaning, it seems like it's pretty important, pretty critical, but it's not. It's not me'ake. If you didn't do it, there is kapara in the in the in the in the korba. Okay, al harosh on the head of the animal with two hands. Why two hands? The Bartunur explains. Because it says about Seir Mishtalech, remember that's one of the one of the korbanot, the one that was thrown off the cliff on Yom Kippur. With a coin gadol, it says, Visamach Aaron et Shteyadav. Aaron should lean both hands. Zebanaav, a binyanav, is a kind of lean wood. It's a it's a it's a it's a categorical study. It's a binyan, it's a building block. A study building block, it's a binyanav, lechol smicha, shubishteyadaim. So we learn from this that this becomes the source. For all smichot, that just like Aaron used both hands, even though, back to the Pasuk, you might have noticed it, it says, Samach Yado, his hand. In the, and also in, in Vayikra Gimel, it says Yado. Nonetheless, we learn from there that it's always Bishteyadaim, two hands. Ubemakom shesomchim shochatim. And in the place where you do smicha, you slaughter. Vetekef la smicha shechita. Immediately adjacent to smicha is shechita. So I was just actually discussing this with someone. Okay, we know that there are different uh, uh, parts of the of the Beit Hamikdash. Here we're in this map of the Beit Hamikdash. You can, I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, you can see here it says Ezra Israel, and there's a line beyond which it's called Ezra Kohanim. Okay, the Ezra Israel. So the Jews were allowed. And anyway, here Ezra Nashim women were allowed here. Ezra Israel. There was this line they were not allowed to go beyond. So the person made a point. He said exactly this. That yes, normally for no reason Yisrael couldn't go beyond here, it couldn't go into Ezra Kohanim. But remember that the the shechita took place here, and if a Jew offered a korban, he had to do smicha. And based upon this rule, see if I can find it. Yes, based, based upon this rule, take up the smicha shechita. You have to do smicha where the shechita is, and right adjacent to the smicha, right after the smicha, you have to do shechita, which means that Yisrael did go into the Ezra Kohanim when it was necessary for them to do so. All right, we'll stop here. Dedicated learning. Remember my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak, Have a good day.